Hi everyone, my message for today is um, we all have that something, you know, that something uh, that we struggle with, that something that if you struggle with peace, if you struggle with impatience, if you struggle with getting angry quickly, if you struggle with um, doubt, if you struggle with unbelief, if you struggle with I am not good enough and all of that some things is holding us back. It's holding us back to reach your point that you need to be reached by God, um, through God, through His goal for your life. Um, so um, I struggle with impatience. And uh, then I just go to Scripture. I go to Scripture and my Scripture is um, that I like using is um, John 14 verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My perfect peace I give to you, not as the world give you. Don't let your heart be troubled. Let my perfect peace calm you in every circumstance and give you courage and strength through every challenge. So if you know you, you struggle with impatience, if you know you struggle with things, then you know when you are in a certain situation, when you, you have trigger points, then you know you have to move out of that situation. And you know, okay, it's going to happen now. This is my um, pressure point. So let me focus. Let me have self-control let me revise the scripture in my mind saying okay peace i live with you i will give you strength in every situation when you get angry quickly go get a verse that you can get to know of by heart and say it to yourself when you doubt when you get scared let God give you a, a scripture that you can meditate on and pray, 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 pray. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you because we can only do this by the Spirit, okay? And um, don't feel judged by other people. People are not allowed to judge you. People are not allowed to judge you. Go read um, Romans 14. We are not allowed to judge, okay? Some people eat different food than what other people eat but we are all loved by God we are not allowed to judge we are not allowed to look down on other people we are not allowed to get you are if you get if you do something right and you get convicted by Jesus by the Lord it is the Holy Spirit that says hey wait this is not right what you are doing then you know you're on the right path if you do something wrong that says in the scriptures that is wrong and you get convicted by it and you get like you get that funny feeling that doesn't feel right then you know you're on the right track then you know you are busy changing so don't be discouraged if you do things that that's out of a godly character go to the lord repent for it and get up do not fall into the shame in the shame wheel do not fall in that. Stand up, get out of that wheel and go forward. Because we are all um, children of God and we are all loved by Him. And we are made perfect by His Spirit. We are made perfect by Jesus Christ. Take the blood, just throw it over you and say, Jesus, I'm new, I'm made new by you. So that is my um, scripture for today. In two, there's just one verse. I'm going to give to you 2 Timothy 3. Verse 16, it says, Every scripture has been inspired by the Holy Spirit, the breath of God. It will empower you by ins instruction and correction, giving you the strength to take the right direction and lead you deeper into the path of godliness. Then you will be God's servant, fully mature and perfectly prepared to fulfill any assignment God gives you. So through scripture, we need to correct ourselves by the Spirit. Okay, have a good day. Bye.